Hello everybody, this is FreezyX. Today we have our guest, Ever404. So, um, Ever, would you like to introduce yourself to the audience a little bit? Okay. Uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm Ever404. Um, I'm a digital artist, and I've been drawing for about two years? Seriously, for two years. Mm -hmm. um, and I mainly do uh, digital illustration. Uh, Focusing on like the uh, anime manga style, mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to branch out a little more, but mainly that's where I'm rooted right now. When did you get into um, anime or manga? Um, I would say definitely. I would say mo like most kids, uh, we kind of grew up with it, watching things like Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon. Right, uh, right. That kind of started everything. Where we were kind of introduced, and like we started to like it, but in terms of uh, becoming more serious and even drawing it, it's probably not until. Uh, maybe high school or early college that I really started to, to spend more time into doing this kind of thing. I, I feel it bro, cause like, every time when I, hi when I was in high school, I just keep drawing my notebook in the back of my notebook. Like, I definitely remember uh, in middle school, I got in trouble a lot for starting to draw. Uh -huh. And then in high school, I spent a lot more time uh, like drawing on pieces of paper than I did uh, paying attention cool. to class. Have you been to any like art class or art club in um, high school? I did take an art class in high school, mm. but um, given that uh, what art, art uh, classes are in high school, most people don't really pay a lot of attention to True. what they're learning. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's not, I wouldn't say it's a very formal education because mm -hmm. it was, for my school, it was an elective class. So yeah. I didn't, I was introduced to, um, I guess, fine arts or um, the more traditional side of art, mm -hmm. but I didn't, um, I didn't, I don't think I had a real formal education in it. So are you like not the really, a student in the art class? Um, in the art class at the time, I, w I wasn't because I wasn't sure um, what I wanted to draw. Or, right. um, I didn't it wasn't have your a, directions a, as an artist. Right. And I, didn't, I, didn't have a, um, I didn't have any training beforehand either. So right. that, I believe high school is when I started to pick things up. Right. So at the like time, I really didn't. Fun, I, so. Right. Yeah. So I really didn't think I was that great. And I really didn't uh, want to pursue anything because of how much skill I lacked at the time. Mm. Have you, do you have any like art club in your school? I mean like anime club or? Um, at my university now, there's, um, of course there's the the major for fine arts and right. you know, art related majors. And then there's there's clubs like, there's the, the manga and comic club and there's the anime club. Um, neither of which I'm actually um, a part of, but I do know they exist and I know people in the club. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> You just you know do your own stuff. Is that is that what you're doing? Um, at the, I would say I'm doing my own stuff, but right, right. I am spending more time um, making friends and um, meeting people at, at conventions or right. online. Uh, right, mainly I'm, because <laughs> right. Mainly I mean, because, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not a, I'm not asking you like if you're otaku and like you know third. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no I, I know what you mean. Um, it's just right. that the at university at places like the anime club or. Um, in the art majors, like the, I guess the the pool of people that you'll meet or the mm -hmm. kinds of people you meet are a lot more limited, right? Than, right yeah, uh, than online. So it's yeah. much easier for me to meet people online and become friends than it is um, in let's say art class or at a club meeting. Yeah, definitely. Cause like it's funny because people always think like when you meet internet friends, you always have to be like very careful. But like most of the time, like for me personally, it's the the most normal people you, you can get. <laughs> Is is from internet, and whenever you go to like anime club, they all kind of like I'm, I don't, I don't want to generalize people, but like for for me, some of them are you know. But, <laughs> yeah, I know yeah. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, I know that definitely like when I first got into college, that's what I was afraid of. Um, that's why I didn't really participate. Right, um, right. Later on, I started to go to a few meetings just to see. Um, there wasn't as much of the uh, I guess kinds of people that I didn't really like. But it, they just, they weren't people that I really got along with and they didn't seem to, um, I didn't seem to fit in with, uh, I guess, their crowd. Right. But with, with people online that I met, it seemed like everyone was just like me. Everyone uh, drew the same things or talked about the same things and that's right. why it was really easy to make friends online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just want to like, I just want to tell the audience that I'm not, uh, like, if any of my friend watching this, I'm not saying that you guys are a little bit wacky, you know. I, I've been to a lot of... You know, anime club. You guys are awesome people. I'm just saying the possibilities of how you know the general audience think about you know meeting people in the internet and versus you know meeting people in the anime club. 
I'm not trying to, you know, attack anybody. So <laughs> the one yeah. I'm making, make, make my friends mad. It's like, oh, what the hell are you doing for you? Well, I mean, the stereotype is definitely there. We just right, want right. to say it. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because, like, when, when, when we talk about stereotypes, um, it's usually about race. But, like, people never think about the stereotype of people who like anime. Like, th nobody ever is fight it, you know what I mean? But nobody, you know, go against, uh, you know, oh, anime people or otaku are not always, you know, this herpy derpy or wacky people don't do crazy shit and, you know, shoot people in the head. It's... <laughs> but, yeah, it's funny. It, it's something, I, I guess it's just something you have to, like, experience rather than, you know, guesstimate it, right? Yeah, I feel like, especially more in high school, you um, mo or most of us that are um, that kind of grew up with it or grew up watching anime and got into it, uh, especially during high school, we saw a lot of these like, um, I guess different personalities or th things that we thought were kind of weird or didn't like, and that's why we kind of um, either really embrace it or we kind of shrink away from it, which is why um, some of us like to go to anime club, some of us don't, yeah, some yeah. of us like to meet new people, some of us don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, internet is definitely like a better place, but still, guys, um, who are watching this, be careful with like you know people on internet, uh, you know, especially in Craigslist and stuff. But still, I'm not saying you know internet people are bad. You know, it's nothing that really that dangerous, as long as you're not going to some some kind of like sex state. <laughs> yeah. So let's go back into more uh, anime oriented stuff and stuff. You know, talking about humanity. Uh, what what is your favorite anime or series? I wouldn't be able to uh, exactly pinpoint just one, um, right. ma mainly because I started to get um, so wrapped up in things that I've started to watch a lot of different things. Um, but I definitely think uh, the series uh, called Clan Ed was one of the ones that really um, sparked me into uh, watching more and wanting to draw mm -hmm. um, a lot of what I do now. I, I think that actually makes a lot of sense when, I, when you mention it because your drawing are a lot uh like when, when i compare to the the general artist it's a lot more peaceful and yeah. planet does have that feeling i was like oh that that makes that makes all the sense now so, yeah, yeah. Uh, i was kind of surprised too because like I, i'm sure there's a fan of planet but like not a lot of people know what it is because it's so japanese and yeah novel um Back in the day, it wasn't really that um, popular among it wasn't, the US. Yeah, I would say it wasn't popular because not many people outside of Japan knew what it was. Yeah, yeah. But now it has been, you know, lo lo a little right. bit more well, well known. Right, because it's kind of been spread around and it's, right. I, I would, I guess, relatively old. Um, mm -hmm. Or it's um, it's old enough that a lot of people will know about it. Mm -hmm. But um, I see you draw a lot of uh, Puzzle and Dragon stuff, so. Um, is that uh, is that one your, one of your favorite series or is that? Uh, currently, I would say it's um, it's definitely the the game or the mobile game that I play the most, mm -hmm. uh, which is why I do draw a lot of it, um, mainly because I spend a lot of time playing it. Yeah, um, yeah. And there's there's also an aspect of I really like or I really like the series. I really like the characters in the series, mm -hmm. but there seems to be a lacking amount of um, a fan or a lacking amount of people that seem to to want to draw or um, be a part of that um, community. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, like, because most of the players are just players. They don't really draw, so... Right. Yeah. Like, I know there's a lot of um, there's a lot of artists and people um, globally that, that do draw or that do uh, participate in the community for Puzzle and Dragons, but most of them um, mainly are in, you know, Japan, Hong Kong, Korea. There, there aren't that many here in uh, North America, which is why I felt like I wanted to, to help, uh, like, kickstart or help spark... Uh, more creativity on this end yeah and and i think like um gung-ho was it gung-ho was it what the company's mm -hmm. called yeah they definitely mm -hmm. like to keep their shit together for the u.s <laughs> puzzle and dragons because dude they have final fantasy collaborations and how can you miss that in i mean they just came out so i can't really tell whether if it's gonna be u.s but it's for me it's really unlikely because right. they got freaking dragon ball z they got, they got, and they're Final Fantasy. They're missing like these big two hype in the US. You, you, there's no way you can miss right. that. Go home, right. get your shit together. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're, they're even releasing a, a 3DS game with Mario. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, I yeah. Mean, so, I mean, that, that's definitely helping them bring things true, over true. to the US. Wouldn't it be cool if, like, um, Puzzle and Dragons have 
League of Legends character? I think that'd work. Uh, well, I feel like it, it'd be a stretch. It, it'd be hard to work together. Yeah, but yeah. If, it, if they do find a way, I mean, I'm sure it would be huge. I mean, they have already been working with other people like Dragon Ball Z and even like the DC Comics. That right. went, that got into um, uh, the U.S. Puzzle and Dragons, but still, um, I, I think it's pretty possible that they could, it's GG too easy <laughs> to for them to get into yeah. Riot. Yeah, I, I would say it, it would all depend on Riot. And, you know, Gung Ho. Uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but yeah, um... Do you have any problems while drawing your, uh, like, do you have any art block? Um, in terms of art block, I I would say I definitely do have a lot of art block. Um, not so much because I don't know what to draw, per se, but it's more of I'm not sure how to um, draw what I want to draw with um, mm. with the feeling that um, I want to give it. Um, a lot of the things that I like to draw, um, I like to attach um, emotions to it. Um, things like, you'll see, you'll see the picture and it kind of evokes an image mm. or a feeling in you like it makes you happy or you know it makes you sad or depressed or right. you or you understand what I'm feeling as I was drawing it mm -hmm. um, and I find it hard sometimes to draw something that um, gives the feeling that I'm feeling true true yeah I mean it's kind of just like in between the technical side and also like the mental side you have to find a balance between two yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's like what people say when um, when they use art to express themselves Right, right, right. Um, so it's it's more the problem of I don't know how to express myself with my art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that that's definitely a, like a big problem in the art community. Doesn't matter if it's like in anime and stuff. Because for me, like art itself is a language, and right. it's really hard to use something that's you know art as a language. Um, it's really hard to you know speak Japanese if you're you know if you don't know Japanese. You know, you just gotta keep yeah. practicing it and you know express yourself yeah. through the language. Speaking of like improvements and stuff, like how, wh who's your favorite Japanese artist or like the the favorite artist that influence influence you the most? Artist that influences me the most, uh, I would say definitely. Um, there's a Japanese artist on Pixiv, or um, not Japanese artist. She's I believe she's actually a Chinese artist on Pixiv, mm -hmm. um, but uh, her name is Rella, or that the name she goes by is Rella, and she she's very popular for. Um, her art being very cute, and mm. more so than that, she's an expert at um, playing with lighting and playing with lighting in a way that um, gives her art um, a kind of feeling that she wants. Mm. And that's definitely something that I've looked up to, and definitely something I want to learn from is learning to use lighting instead of just um, how, but instead of just the composition in general um, right, right. to really evoke the feeling that I want. So she's definitely the one that I look up to. So it, yeah, because ma many times when I see like beginners, new artists, when they just started, is to just like copy a certain style, and right. I mean that's not a bad thing because you know you have to start somewhere, but like right. they get into this feeling that they have to copy this person and that person. What's your thought about that? Well, I think a lot of artists will say kind of the same thing that uh, starting off it's. Not, it's not really a bad idea, but it's also not the best idea. It leads to a lot of uh, mistakes, or not, not exactly mistakes, but bad habits. Right. Um, so it's not as much about uh, copying. It, like, it's not as much about copying, but it's more about learning, um, mm. which uh, I, I would admit that uh, recently I've been looking at a lot of Vela's artwork and seeing how she does things um, and trying to implement that into my own art. But it's less about copying what she does and more of learning how she does what she does. Right, learn the skill itself. Right, yeah. like learning her technique right, and right. learning uh, the technique in general, how you can do things with certain uh, th things that are more uh, like foundational mm -hmm. or things that maybe you never would have thought of. Uh, those are things that I think would it would really benefit from uh, copying or learning from other artists. A lot of artists like start when they watch, um, like start drawing when they by copying what they watch from anime, and right. they but yeah, then yeah. they never learn like anatomy, human body and stuff, muscle. Right, right, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and that that really keeps away from them because they are not really that determined to you know do what they do what they want to do. So yeah. right, I definitely remember that uh, when I first started, I was copying things I saw. I, I felt like that was because I didn't have any skill at the time. That's what mm. I needed to do. 
Um, but as I wanted to get better, uh, people would start telling me you need to start uh, right, actually right. learn. It will um, hit things. you eventually. Right. So I, I would actually start uh, going online, uh, looking at things like tutorials or references, uh, figuring things out like uh, how, how tall the human should be or proportions of uh, different parts of the body. Um, things that you would learn in, I guess, the formal art class. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I think that would that definitely helped spike me upwards um, past that original like the, the first part that a lot of people get stuck at. When when you post your artwork on DeviantArt or or Pixiv, do you ever get any comments that you don't do not like, or you know haters or whatever? Well, in terms of haters, I actually don't get that many haters mainly because um, I I don't feel that I'm at a a level of popularity where people were you know where people would just come in and, and hate on your art just just right. for the sake of hating on your art because I've seen that and people do that yeah but I haven't really gotten any of those um, mm. in terms of comments that I hate or not 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 particularly hate but the ones I don't like getting a uh. lot that just says wow cute or <laughs> you know nice art yeah, yeah. it's it's a compliment I I think of it as a compliment it's it, it's nice and it makes me feel happy, but it didn't really say much. It, it was a comment that kind of just passed by. Right. Let's let's move into like a little bit deeper questions. Um, like, cause cause I see a lot of people or like the last generation people, uh, you know, adults, quote unquote adults. Um, they, they 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 have this belief of like you know, cartoon or anime. They're more for like kids. And yeah. when they see something that is very violent and very sexual, uh, they they immediately protest about it. What, what do you what, what do you think about that that thought? I think, you know, like times times are changing, def um, so it's not quite as valid as it used to be. Yeah. But there is still a big stereotype of um, cartoons and anime being for kids, mm -hmm. um, and so I feel that. It's not going to be something that's going to change very fast, mm -hmm. but it is something that is slowly changing, right. um, mm. and it's becoming more acceptable. But it's still a bit of a, um, I guess, stigma. Right, right. And especially for, um, I guess, artists that draw um, these kinds of things, they they kind of get lumped in as you know you're drawing things for kids. Let's go back into like your work a little bit. Um, for now, would you say that you are you know um, you're not you're not pro yet, or you're just like in the middle? Um, for me, I would say that I don't think that I'm any bit a pro. Right. Um, but that this this is mostly because uh, for myself as an artist and for myself as a person, uh, I'm usually really hard on myself. Right. Um, or um, sometimes I'll start drawing something and it's something I'm not really good at drawing, mm -hmm. and it's some it'll start making me think like, well, if you can't even draw this, you're not ready to be a pro. Right. Right. Um, so I would say that I'm not ready to be a pro. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that I'm not going to be a pro someday. I've heard from friends that have told me, um, and friends that I know that work in the industry, that people that work above them or their coworkers, that maybe they they're similar to me, or you know, they some of them started even later. Uh, some people started drawing in their 20s or later in their 20s. They they didn't uh, really break through or feel they were a pro until their early 30s. I shouldn't feel at all bad. I should actually feel you know that I should be making use of my time right now. Right, um, because it's like your up. prime moment, right? Right. Have you already get any questions about, oh, are you drawn this? Can you draw me, please? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely got a lot of those questions. Um, I got a lot more in high school than I did in college. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe, mainly because in college, you know, most people focus on themselves, not right. really about what other people are doing. Um, but I, I have gotten it every now and again, um, and I, I feel like the the question usually comes from people that aren't involved in um, the art industry at all. Right, right, like they only understand so they're just like, oh, it's just a piece of drawing. What would be your reactions if somebody asked you that question? Um, I mean, there's, there's a lot of different reactions I would probably have. I think it depends on the person or the situation. Right. Um, like, if, if it's if it's a friend, um, I probably would kind of defer the question, you know, haha, yeah. very funny. Um, but I probably wouldn't do it unless um, Maybe, unless maybe like I wanted to do it for practice or, or something, um, mm. they, they, like they would they would have to be a not a motivation like money, but more right. of an internal motivation. Like I, I want to do this because right, I right. want to get better. Um, just, like just in general, if someone were to ask you a question, you know, it's you know I don't really know you very well, so probably not. Right. Do you do you ever get any comments about like oh um, 
I mean that that kind of goes back to like the hate comments when you get comments yeah. of like, oh, um, this is not this is not art. Do you ever get that? I've definitely gotten some some of those, um, mainly from people that uh, I I guess you could say it from people that uh, aren't into it, aren't um, fans of anime. Um, or people that kind of have, uh, I guess, a bit of prejudice against anime. Mm -hmm. um, or even people that uh, are more traditional mm -hmm. uh, in the art sense that they think that, you know, anime is, you know, it's, it's just, you know, it's, it's just cartoons. There's, there's no, there's no style behind it. There's no, you know, uh, there, there's definitely people like that. And they're, they're, I've seen and gotten a few of those comments. Mm -hmm. um, but personally, it doesn't really affect me as much. Like, I started to realize that it's actually just their opinion. Um, mm -hmm. That's yeah. what they think, and you know the world is changing, and their opinion is you know it's their opinion. They they're entitled to their own opinion, right, right. Um, and I'm entitled to mine. Yeah, if yeah. they don't like my art, that's fine. They can turn it off. They can you know do whatever they want with it, but yeah. I shouldn't stop because of them. Right, haters gonna hate. <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a really important to filter out like un unnecessary criticism. Because some of them yeah. are really biased. Yeah. And, and and besides, even if you get those criticism, the the only thing that you, not only thing but like the one of the most, uh, the best thing to do, is to prove them wrong by doing the the opposite things that they right, ask exactly. to tell you to do. So. Yeah. I feel like it's a really good motivator. It, it probably yeah, yeah. motivated me a bit, a bit more to be like, well, if you don't think it's gonna be that great, well, I'll show you that that. You know it's great that it's better than you think it is. Yeah, that's. Great. I know that feeling. I used to to feel that too. Yeah. And I definitely feel like um, for a lot of starting artists, it's that that first comment that's you know like your art sucks or you're not drawing correctly right. or something that really makes people uh, depressed and makes them want to stop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people so like they have to get past that, but it's it's something that takes time. It's something that for me it took maybe half a year to a year before I finally got over it. Right. So it's something that you have to you have to see you have to deal with it. Right. I guess this is uh, almost the end of um, the interview. Do you do you want to know? Let the audience know um, what con you'll be going, or you, what con are you planning to go for the next couple of years, or you know, couple of months. Um, let's see. Well, in a couple of months at least. Um, I've already planned on Fanime in Northern California oh. and the Anime Expo, the Anime Expo in Los Angeles. Right. Um, it's because I live in Southern California, and they're to me they're they're pretty close. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking in the next few years maybe definitely going to these two because they're near where I live uh, I might try going out further to Sakura Con in Seattle maybe uh, Anime Revolution in mm -hmm. Vancouver um, oh yeah uh, because I, I've been kind of locked in California for most of my life yeah um, so I do want to go out and meet different kinds of people mm -hmm. Lastly, do you have anything you want to you know tell the audience and people who support you beginner artists and stuff um, for people that watch me already, or people that know that have seen my art or know of my art, uh, thank you for noticing me, Senpai. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm glad that my art made my way to you because I don't, uh, I don't very, I don't advertise very much, or I don't really spread very much. You know, I was told from people that I didn't really have any talent. Um, everyone used to, to, you know, make fun of me or whatever. Um, my family used to, you know, say my sister was the artist and I was the uh, technical guy. Um, and then in you know college last year everything kind of changed um, where I started to draw more and now my family calls me the artist instead of my sister um, mm. so if, I mean if you're starting off know that you know an art is definitely something that um, you don't really need talent it's something that talent kind of gives you a head start but no matter where you are it's all about you know hard work yeah and yeah. the reason the reason I keep drawing now is because it taught me that it taught me that um, it's all about hard work it's all about how much dedication you put into it True. And when you look when you look back, maybe you look back a year, or maybe two years, or even like maybe six months, if you've been working really hard, you can definitely see that you've gotten better. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the biggest like uh, confidence boosts that I've ever gotten. Right. And you look back and you're like, wow, I've really gotten better. I feel <laughs> so great. I'm gonna draw more. You definitely shouldn't give up when you see that. Right. Do not give up. That's the that's a that's the main thing that every beginner or like intermediate artist yeah. should consider. I think. I think that's the biggest thing, and it's also the hardest thing because mm -hmm. it's it's so um, part of like your mindset and who you right. are that you never think of it as you know as the problem. Yeah. Uh, so I know for me, like it took me probably close to two years before I finally understood it. 
Mm -hmm. um, and I, I definitely see a lot of artists now that ask me for help or ask me to, um, to look at their art and uh, you know give them advice. Mm -hmm. um, and I can totally, I can definitely see that they have potential, but it's not about um, their, it's not about their technique or their their skill. It's about um, their mindset. It's their attitude that's right, holding right. them back. Because if there's and, attitude, you know, skills will right. always, you know, right. you always get skills. Right. There, there's there's always a sort of, um, I wouldn't say amateur, but right. for a lot of beginners, they tend to keep thinking like, I need to draw more, I need to keep improving. Right. right. Um, and they kind of lock themselves into a certain mindset that kind of stops them from improving mm -hmm. because they're so concentrated on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think you really need to like relax and let go. Right. And once you finally see and understand yourself that you you know like that you're your own problem, then you'll be able to fix it, and then your improvement just goes like snaps, like just snaps, and starts. Yeah, yeah. Because it happened to me, and I saw it, and I was like, wow. In my philosophy, like the the strongest thing that you can ever be is to admit admit your weakness. <laughs> if you fall, you just stand back up. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's good to have you. Uh. <laughs> Thanks for having yeah. me. And um, this is FreezyX. I'll see you guys later. And this is Error. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Yep.